Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today is just going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. Everything that I have on my face. Um, it's just like a soft purple kind of cat eye effect right here, like how it wings out. But yeah, very. it's kind of simple, easy. It's one of the easier looks to achieve if you want to like, you know, get all glammed out but don't want to do as much as you would like a smoky eye maybe. You know what I mean? So, something a little bit more easier to achieve. Um, but yeah, just a tutorial on this look. So if you want to know how to get it, then keep on watching. Um, enjoy! Okay, so first I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to be using this facial spray. So I'm going to put a couple of squirts of this on my face. Okay, and then I think I'm going to start with my eyebrows. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil and then just going to brush my eyebrows a little bit. And lightly, lightly like go around like, you know, the well, outside of them, just lightly. I don't like to fill in my eyebrows all dark. Because they're already kind of naturally, they already have like a nice natural shape. So I just like to make them a little darker. Okay. And then just brush them out. So that's how I do my eyebrows. And then we're going to, with this concealer, it's um, Maybelline Fit Me. It's in the shade medium. It's uh, number 25. I'm going to put a little bit of this. I'm going to use it as like a primer for my eyeshadow and then to conceal under my eyebrows to clean them up. So I put just a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And then with a flat shader or a concealer brush, whichever you prefer, um, I'm going to take a little bit of this and then use it right under my eyebrows and then to conceal all over my eyes to use as like a primer, an eyeshadow base. And then sometimes I'll conceal like the top of my eyebrows, but then other times I don't. Today I'm not going to do that, just because I'm doing more of a simpler look today. And we don't need our eyebrows to look super sharp. And when you just do the bottom, it gives off like a more natural eyebrow look. Like they're just clean. And I like that. I always, I prefer that. Once you have all that finished, we're going to start with our eyeshadow now. And we're going to do like a purplish kind of look. So I'm going to go in with this Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm going to take the purple shade from there. It's called Plump. Well, first, I'm, I'm actually sorry. First, I'm going to take Cool Gray on a blending brush. And just lightly put that like in my crease. Just lightly though. I don't want, we don't want it. It's not a dark look, so we don't want it to look too like bold. So once we have that all, whatever, you know, we have that light transition color, I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush, which would be 
some, a little smaller brush, something like this, a little bit more compacted. I'm going to now go in with the shade Plum from that same palette. And then focus this more on like the V, the outer V of our eye. And then what we're going to do with this look is I'm kind of like winging it out. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm like doing a motion like this kind of because we're going to conceal this so it can kind of look like a cat eye. Not a cat eye, smoky eye, but have that nice cat eye effect. so you should have something like this. I know it looks a little funky right now, but it's, once we clean it up, it's not going to look bad. And then you just want to do the same thing with the other eye. Okay, so after your eyes look like this, I know they look a little bit funky, um, we're going to go in with our concealer. Just the same concealer that we used to go under our eyebrows and as a base. I'm going to put a little bit of that on the same flat brush. And then we're going to do a little bit of outlining. We're going to like outline our eyelid a little bit where our shimmer color is going to go. So. so I just outlined it like that. Um, I didn't bring it like all the way out into like the eyeshadow back here and then with the other side of the brush I'm just gonna like pat it out so that it's not as wet and, like blend that into that darker eyeshadow okay and then just do the same thing with my other eye just like that Again, it looks a little silly, but it's going to look better after. <laughs> okay, so then the shade that we're going to be using on the eyelid is going to be from the original Naked palette. And it's going to be Toasted. Okay, so then we're going to take this one with this like little fluffy flat brush. Can you see? And that's just going to go all over the eyelid. So then that's how that should look. So you have that nice like light shimmery eyeshadow and then it goes into this little like dark purple kind of. So now we're going to start on our face makeup. So I do foundation, concealer, and then all my other like blush, highlight, bronzer. So I'm going to be using the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear as my foundation. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this. On the back of my hand. Okay. And then I'm just gonna dot this all over my face and blend it up. We'll start right here, over here. And this is a super nice foundation that looks like super nice in pictures 
and there's not that much flash. There's not any flashback really at all. What? Okay, so now we have the foundation all over our face. Okay, so now we're going to do our concealer and now we're going to um, be able to like clean up all of this area right here. So with the same concealer, again, we're just going to go in with that same flat shader brush and then clean it up so you don't want to get like too close to it and mess up like this area over here but we're gonna clean this up and make it look like a like a cat eye effect so I'm gonna do my concealer as like regular I normally would I um, put my concealer on and I just outlined this trace right here I cleaned it up to make it look like a cat eye I gave it that nice cat eye effect and I did that on both sides, you see? And then I'm just going to blend it out as I normally would my concealer. And then when you get to like that area right there by your the eyeshadow, you want to be careful not to like mess up that straight line. So it should look something like that. This one's a little bit more darker than that one. We could fix that though. Okay. So now just with the blending brush, I'm just going to smoothen out this eyeshadow over here because it's a little bit darker. Okay. So it should look something like this. Very cute. So now we're going to do the rest of our, um, my eye makeup. So I'm going to go in with, from the Lorac palette, I'm going to go in with this shade beige and I'm going to use that to highlight, um, in the inner corners of my eyes, in the inner corners of my eyes, and then under my eyebrows, and then I'll do the rest of my face. And now we're going to do our face makeup. So I start with blush. So I'm going to be using my Laura Geller brush. My Laura Geller blush. And this is in the shade Baked Blush. Wait, Tropic Hues. My lid broke off. But this is what it is. And um, it's going to be, yeah, it's Baked Blush and Brighten uh, Tropic Hues. So we're just going to put this all over our cheeks. And I like my cheeks to look super, super flushed. So, I mean, you guys might not like that, and that's okay. But you could just use like less blush. Now we're gonna do um, highlight, and I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner highlight, and this is in the shade Sunday Brunch. So with this one.
Okay, and the oh. Okay, and for our bronzer, I'm just gonna use this. I haven't had this for so long. Shh. Hold up. Wait. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, I've had this for a very long time. It's just the bunch all the two face bronzers. So I'm gonna be using um chocolate sole. I'm going to take that. And then just like, I'm not going to contour, but like, you know, like soften up my face a little bit. So that's all of our face makeup, and then um, I'm gonna go back to our eyes, and we're gonna do some like under some put some eyeshadow under our eyes. So I'm going to first take that cool gray color that we grabbed initially. Initially, yeah, that we the the first color that we used. We're gonna go um, under our eyes with that cool gray. But you have to be careful because you don't want it to look like super messy and to fall down and then make it look like you have like dark circles or something. So you have to be like really neat with it and kind of careful. <laughs> so just like that, just to add like some you know, a little bit more to the look. So that's what that looks like. Now we're gonna put on some mascara. Well, no, actually, I'm gonna put on some eyelashes mascara. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'm gonna add some to my top eyelashes and bottom eyelashes. So now we're going to put on some lipstick. Sorry guys, my memory card got full right now so my camera cut off. But what I did was I used this thin brush right here. And I took this um, lipstick. It's in the shade Toasted Truffle by Maybelline uh, 570. And I outlined my lips with this shade. And then I just went over my entire lips with Warm Me Up. It's also a Maybelline lipstick. And yeah, that's how I got my lips to look like this. Um... But this is a completed look. It's just a simple, it's easy to achieve and it kind of looks like you put in a lot of work. But you didn't, you know what I mean? And it's not as hard as a smoky eye, but you could still like wear it out and you know, you could dress it up or you know, do something like simple with it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I taught you guys something. Um, but yeah, alrighty. Thank you for watching and like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And then turn on the bell so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.